This is a video in partnership with Neth Cure Kidney International that helps demonstrate what nephrotic syndrome looks like. My 12-year-old brother has nephrotic syndrome, so I love helping out the Neth Cure community. Today we're going to do a demonstration on what nephrotic syndrome looks like. You will need two glasses, a jug of water, coffee filters, yellow food dye, beads, and scissors. Select one color of bead to represent the protein in the blood and put these into the jug. I chose the color red. Add water to the jug. This will represent the blood that the protein floats in. The red beads gave the water a slight red tinge. The coffee filters are going to act as the kidneys. To create the kidney with nephrotic syndrome, fold one of the filters in half and cut slits into it. It should look like this. The hole should be big enough for the beads to pass through. Now, place two filters on top of the glasses. One that is normal, and one that has holes. Now, add drops of yellow food coloring. These would be the toxins that are filtered out in our urine. Now, pour the blood and protein mixture over top of the filters. Be sure to hold on to the side of the filters as you pour. This is so that it doesn't fall in like it did here. The normal filter will show the yellow urine with no protein or beads in it. Now watch what happens to the kidney with nephrotic syndrome. The beads passed into the urine through the filter. The nephrotic syndrome filter does not filter out the protein and instead the protein is leaked out into the urine and does not stay in the blood. The normal filter allows the water to pass through, but it stops the beads from passing through as well. However, the filter with holes in it allows both the beads and the water to pass through. This is very similar to the difference between a normal kidney and a nephrotic kidney. In our kidneys, there are these things called glomeruli that help filter our blood, much like the coffee filter in this experiment. The filter on the left is a normal glomeruli. It filters the blood and removes toxins through urine. It does not allow the protein to pass through. The image on the right, however, is a glomeruli that has nephrotic syndrome. This image shows that there are holes in the filter that allow protein to pass through into the urine. If you'd like to download the written lesson plan that accompanies this experiment, go to nephcure.org slash justforkids. Thanks for watching! We hope that this experiment helps you understand nephrotic syndrome a little bit better.